worrying, keep adding up them numbers. But whether you dividing or subtracting sometime, it ain't adding up. Come on here, somebody. And the spirit of fear will remind you that it ain't adding up. Even when you get a blessing and unexpected money come in, spirit of fear will immediately speak to you and say, well, that still ain't going to be enough to do what you need to do. And so you don't even shout and give God a praise because spirit of fear told you that 90 cent and still ain't going to cut it. You, I'm going to remind you, you still need 980 just to get this thing started. And see, that's how the spirit of fear shows up and start talking to people. But see, I got an assignment tonight to wear out the spirit of fear to the point to where every believer will get on one accord and say to the spirit of fear, you got to go. You can't hang around at a place of refuge in Noonan. You got to go. You got to go. And see, if you kick him out here, then know you got authority when you get back home to also serve Noonan and say you can't live here either. Because I'm telling y'all, what God want to do this year, we going to have to deal with the spirit of fear. Be seated. You're not going to receive supernatural increase without defeating the spirit of fear. Because when it controls you, listen, you don't even have expectation for things to happen that God is trying to deposit in your spirit. See, oh, did y'all hear that? I said you don't even have expectation, which means you won't even allow God to deposit a miracle in you. Before a miracle happened, it has to be deposited in your spirit to where you look for it. See, 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 in other words, you can be broke tonight, but you looking for money. You know that it's coming. You can have a business and need resources, but you ain't crying because you know they're coming. Oh, God, you don't know from whence they coming. But it's been deposited in you to look for it. Come on. Somebody God done told you look for somebody to help you. Look for a person to show up. Look for a divine connection. Spirit of fear will show up and tell you. That if it's going to get done, you got to do it all. And see, when you let your mind go to thinking you have to do it all, that's frustrating. That's draining. You mentally. Everybody in the Bible who received a miracle eventually had to begin to expect it. Even if they didn't start there, that's where they had to get. Gideon didn't start there, but by the time, by the time that angel got to preaching to him, Gideon said, wait a minute, don't you go nowhere. I got to go and get an offering, and I'm going to come back and offer up something. But Gideon, you, you hiding stuff. You ain't got nothing to give, but see, when your expectation rises to the next level, come on, somebody, you start doing things out of the ordinary. Why? Because of what you're, you're looking for. Oh, God, see, I know folk that live by faith because they don't talk like ordinary people. And if I'm always around you and you sound like ordinary folk, then I know you ain't living by faith. Because if you ever get around somebody that's living by faith, they'll talk a talk that'll make you look around and say, what is, what is she talking about? How is he going to do that? But see, some of us only talk what we see. But the Bible said the things that are seen are temporary, but the things that are not seen, they are eternal. You can't see God. And sometimes to talk like God means you're going to talk something that folk can't see. But all while you talking it, you moving that way. But they don't see it. I said, but they don't see it. Are y'all in the house tonight? If you're in the house tonight, just shout, spirit of fear, spirit of fear. Has, to go. has to go. You ain't hanging around this year. See, God done even interrupted the message and said, you got to tell my people that there's something been hanging around them that shouldn't be around them. Oh, yeah. That's what's got you talking all about. You got to get a job. Where that come from? God been blessing you. God been taking care of you. Where that come from? See, when spirit of fear get a hold to you, you'll start saying stuff 
that makes no sense. But that's you talking. Then God got to talk to the preacher. And say, preacher, I know they shout, but spirit of fear hanging around. I know they jumping real good, but I'm telling you, preacher, spirit of fear is influencing folk. And it's about to mess up the supernatural. You got to convince them that I am a supernatural God. You better tell them I ain't changed on them. The God that did miracles in the Bible still perform miracles. I dare you to high five somebody tell them God ain't changed. God ain't changed. He's still paying off debt. God ain't changed. He still has money in supernatural places because he ain't changed. 